it is exceedingly rare to have this kind of access. It's the first time in many years that CNN's been allowed to make the three-hour journey from Pyongyang to the Kaesong Industrial Complex. And what we found on the ground there is a small section of land, a symbol of cooperation between North and South Korea that is struggling right now. Made in Korea. Sneakers rolling off assembly lines in a South Korean factory with North Korean workers. When we started doing business here, we had 300 employees. Now we have 3,000, says manager Kang Mi Hwa. She'd like to hire 2,000 more, but she can't. This factory and more than 100 others in the Kaesong Industrial Complex caught in the middle of a showdown between the North and the South, just miles from their heavily armed border. There was so much hope at this historic summit in 2000, a landmark deal between Pyongyang and Seoul establishing two cooperative projects, South Korean businesses on North Korean soil. One of them, the Mount Kumgang tourist region, closed after a North Korean security guard shot and killed a wandering tourist in 2008. Today, the industrial complex remains open, but planned expansion has been frozen for five years. In 2010, South Korea accused the North of torpedoing their Navy ship, the Chonan, killing 46 sailors. In response, South Korea stopped all new investment in Kaesong, leaving the industrial complex half empty and businesses like the shoe factory with no way to expand. Because of the restrictions, we can't fill huge orders and meet high demands, she says. Every morning and every evening, 270 buses help transport 52,000 North Koreans back and forth to work. These buses stopped for several months in 2013. Escalating tensions led North Korea to pull all the workers out. The crisis triggered by North Korean anger over joint military exercises between South Korea and the United States. Now a new dispute over worker pay is threatening business again. Wages are paid directly to Pyongyang. North Korean complex managers, including Pak chol Su, are demanding a wage increase of $4 a month. We believe the attitude of the South Korean government is hurting the lives of workers here, he says. South Korea objects to a wage hike, saying the North is going around the rules by unilaterally declaring a new minimum wage without consulting with the South. Assembly lines keep rolling as the crisis deepens. At risk, the last remaining symbol of inter-Korean cooperation and the livelihoods of tens of thousands of workers and their families. Political disagreements between the North and the South are not supposed to affect the daily operations of the Kaesong Industrial Complex, but as we saw, that's clearly not the case. And those problems are really a symbol of a far greater issue, which is the continued deep divide on the Korean Peninsula and the escalating tension between the North and the South. Will Ripley, CNN, Pyongyang, North Korea.